Well hello everybody and welcome to our tutorial which this week is covering transition art for your classroom for September, your new class in September. And it might be that your teacher has chosen this particular quote to put up on the wall and, uh, and with this you will be creating butterflies to go around the quote. So the particular quote is this. Until you spread your wings, you will have no idea how far you can fly. And with that, there will be lots and lots of butterflies around the quote, which you will have created as a class. So I'm going to go through a few different techniques of uh, decorating your butterflies drawing your butterflies and uh, perhaps you could choose one of those techniques or maybe you'd like to make more, more than one butterfly. Um, accompanying this tutorial will be um, a sheet with some images of butterflies which can help you in your design. I have also uh, enclosed a sheet as well with two butterflies which if you wish you could do the cheats technique and um, copy these particular butterflies. It's up to you uh, whether you want to do your own design, uh, looking at the, these uh, images or other images of butterflies, or if you wish to use uh, the ones that I have provided. So I have used these particular ones and I have done the cheats technique for my butterflies. So just a reminder for that technique, you take your graphite stick or your pencil, you rub away on the back of the sheet, you then put your design over, in this case, the first one I would do would be the one which is with the permanent black pen and ink wash. So what I did to get my design on there, it was this particular one at the top. I lay it over the card and with a ballpoint pen, a biro, you press hard into all of your lines. And when you've pressed, keeping your sheet as still as possible, when you've done this, you then take your sheet off and you will have got your design of your butterfly will have been transferred with this cheats technique. Once you've done that, you then need to get a black pen that is a waterproof pen, a permanent black pen. Do not use one that is not waterproof or permanent if you are doing the wash method because it'll just, um, the, the, the black ink will run. So, with that, you then will go over all of your lines, your pencil lines that you've got, and then create, like we've been doing on some of the art, the fish art, uh, if any of you have been doing some of the sport doodle art, um, you're then creating pattern within pattern. And obviously, with a butterfly being symmetrical, whatever you do on one side, you have to match on the other side. Um, once you've done that, you are then ready to put your wash on. I have used for my wash Brusho inks, which you all know about now. The Brusho, which is that fine watercolour powder that I sprinkle into a jam jar, add a little bit of water, and I keep these from one week to the next. Um, and I've got a range of colours. So for the one that I did, now this is the one that I did earlier, you can see there, that was the, the lower one on here. Um, I took a purple and a turquoise. So with the purple and the turquoise, here's my purple. I just then lay it, lay the colour on where I'd like it, and then my turquoise. And you can let the colours slightly bleed into one another. 
You make sure your butterfly is completely covered. Try not to mix the two colours together so that, you know, you can still see you've got two colours. You haven't just blended the blue and the purple completely together, um, but you've got the two colours. And then you would then let that dry. Once it's dry, you then cut it out and you've got that particular uh, method of creating your butterfly design. OK, so that's your black permanent waterproof pen with the brusho inks. The other one that you can do is this one, which is your chalk pastel. And we are used to chalk pastels now, but you have to make sure you use what's called a sugar paper. So this is done on sugar paper. You can't see that orange coming through because I've coloured very, very densely with the chalk pastel. Um, and I've blended my colours a little. So these are your chalks. And I've chosen, I've just limited my colours to the blues and the purples. Of course, once you've coloured in, make sure you press hard. Um, you then need to fix it. We all know about that now. Um, so you can do it with special uh, fixative spray or you can use hairspray and you spray that chalk pastel and it will fix. So that is that one, which I think works very nicely for a butterfly um, and for blending the lovely colours that you can see on these exotic butterflies. Another method is using your oil pastel. Yet again, using the cheats method um, onto your card. Um, make sure you don't use the shiny side of the card if you've got school card. Um, and again, you colour in very hard and densely. Make sure you do whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side. So your colours are symmetrical. And then the final one that I've done is one with our um, paints. Now you can use any kind of watercolour paints. I've used the, the brilliant watercolour paints here. Um, and I have made sure that I've done it on some watercolour paper. So that's watercolour paper, but it's fine on card. Um, if you've got cartridge paper, that, that would be fine as well. It's just a little bit thinner. Um, and uh, just painting very carefully in the lines. Um, and so you can get yourself a nicely painted butterfly. And if you don't want to do any of those, but you just want to do um, pencil crayons, again, you can use, get your design and then you can colour in with the pencil crayons. And then your teacher will then arrange all these butterflies around the quote and um, it does look very, very effective. Um, one butterfly already flying off. So I hope you enjoy doing that particular activity. Okay.